Why IVF patients need to speak up? It bothers me when I see intelligent, highly educated patients who've done IVF cycles in other clinics and don't have a clue about what the IVF doctor did. They don't know the dose of injections because the injections were provided by the clinic. They don't have any ultrasound records because the scans were done by the doctor who would make notes. They don't even have a copy of the medical records. They have no idea how many embryos or what the quality. Oh, the doctor told me they put two good quality embryos. He showed me a photograph, but I don't have any documentation because he didn't give me any photographs. He just showed it to me on the TV screen. Or he told me it's a top quality blastocyst or it's a great 3A, 3AB. But there's no documentation. Not having photographs is not acceptable. And that's why you as a patient need to speak up because the only thing an IVF clinic can do is make embryos. And we need to document embryos by taking photographs because every microscope in the world comes attached with a camera. Why would a doctor want to hide information from you and not give you photographs of your embryos? If it's a good clinic, they should be proud of the embryo quality which they're generating. And the fact that they're not giving you embryo photographs means they're hiding information. What bothers me is these patients will do first cycle fail, second cycle fail, third cycle with the same doctor and still not ask for embryo photographs because they refuse to speak up because they're so scared that the doctor will get upset or angry or they'll antagonize the doctor. But you can't afford to do that. The doctor is not treating you for free. He's charging you a lot of money. And each time you do a cycle and fail, not only have you wasted money, time and energy, you're also going to lose confidence in all IVF doctors. And this is a very common ploy which IVF clinics do. They'll trap patients by giving them a three-cycle package. So by the time it's the third cycle, the patient just doesn't have the guts to open their mouth or to speak up because it's already a sunk cost. They paid the money and they don't want to rock the boat and they don't want to upset the doctor. So they keep quiet and put up with rubbish. And then when their three cycles fail and they change the clinic and then come to a better doctor, and they realize they were taken for a ride, they're completely upset, which is obviously not good for them, not good for the IVF profession, not good for the new doctor, because no matter how good he is, why will the patient trust any doctor now that they've had one bad experience? The only way to get around this is to speak up. And honestly, if your doctor will not allow you to speak up and answer your questions, you're in a bad clinic. Walk out.